Hey, Ross Dragon Metals here. Today I will be painting the Planetary Empire's defense lines and canyons terrain tile. That's the canyons and terrain tile there. I'll actually be putting them some water sort of looking effects in there to make sort of rivers in those gorges. And there's the defense line with lots of craters all around. There's the ones that uh, were painted in the last video, check that out. It's mineral deposits, that's all emeralds. And city brewing. There's another there, same, but with rubies on that side. We have two lucky. The bunny rabbit. That's lucky there. <laughs> She's shy. Mm. Little bite of food bowl. Didn't show her last time. Didn't have time. But anyway, there's my bunny rabbit, Lucky. She's been staying with me for a fairly long time. She's got a lovely winter coat on at the moment. Say hi, Lucky. <laughs> oh, she's a lovely buddy. Anyway, let's go on with painting that tile. Similar paint to last time. Move these aside. I got some workspace. Got a sort of lighting rig by here that helps enormously. So, first off, a few colours of green, three different shades, increasing in brightness. This will be for the arboreal parts of the desert. So, no need to be stingy. After all, this is an agri desert. But do it in a regular patches. Just like that. Other side. The hole in the middle is actually for banners and flags and little fortresses and radar rays. You name it. Things that would exist from high up. I have a few of them. And I'll probably paint a couple in the future. And I'll probably make some DIY ones also. As they're actually out of production parts. Which can be stupidly expensive to get all hold of. Have a new funky plant thing that I bought today. Strange googly face. Look at that. It's actually furry. This is. Not sure what kind of plant it is. It's quite nice though. I know it's a succulent, and uh, it doesn't need watering too much, which is why I picked it. Because I'm usually out or busy, and I keep forgetting to water my plants. So seemed appropriate get that strange googly thing there. Next colour. As I said, this is just ever lighter greens. Still not fully dry this, but doesn't actually matter. As I discovered last time, should have just carried on painting. Bunny Rabbit is having a munch. Check on her later if there's time. These tiles can take a little while to do. Finishing colours there. That will be for the Finishing of the forest, so next, brown. You'll know, be using a lot of this. So just your basic mud brown. As for palettes and stuff, just best not to go with the stupid names that go with these things, because that's like they just do not help at all. It's like they all have sci-fi names rather than an actual colour palette, if you get me. They're all like Alien stone or shiny 
evil red things like that so yeah so it's best to go with the what you think the color looks like in this case mud brown or scorched brown as in the burned earth which is what I think this sort of brown looks like well it does when it's dry anyway and that's why it's best not to dwell on the colour names otherwise you'll just end up confused after many years of painting these things I found it best not to do that or well, you'll end up just buying the most expensive possible paints at stupid names sort of like a Ferrari paint as opposed to just a red paint <laughs> If you get me, sort of like that. Someone in my comments recently also said I have a singy songy voice. I don't know what that means, but my English teacher a long time ago said Welsh people sing their words. I don't know, maybe that's true, maybe I do, who knows. I'm not sure. Sounds normal to me, maybe to other people it doesn't, and it sounds like I sing my words, but it's not intentional. It's probably just Welshness. I don't know. There's very few Welsh people in the world. It represents an infinitesimally small percentage of the world's population. If it was any smaller, I'd be an endangered species. That's how many Welsh people there are compared to the billions of people. Not as cool sounding as a Serbian or anything. They all sound like they're in some sort of war movie. Which is why probably they have lots of subscribers on YouTube. And elsewhere. Due to their funky accents. Okay, that's the browns, dry brushed, this is dry brushing right here, not layering just yet. That's where we're at so far. As you can see it's all quite wet still. But that's the brown done. As you can see I use quite a bit of that. As it's the most coveraged area. It does screw your brushes up, but I have like a box full of brushes and really not fine ones, not basics. Boxes of them. So, all good. Put funky plant thing by there, since it looks funky. It's googly eyes. Right, next. Mm, yeah, we'll go for the forest, last foresty colour, which is the lightest green. That's the sort of green. Uh -huh. So, grass green is what this looks like. Or what I think it looks like. A bit much on that. Doesn't matter, the desert colour will absorb some of the brightness. There's a few layers left of dry brushing. And it also gets a little bit darker once it dries. A lot of paint on my brush. It's good to have a ceramic palette nearby. I don't advise you use other types of material as these just sort of scrape clean with one of those metal scouring pads. People use cups and all sorts. Cups are good. Cups are ceramic. Last time I couldn't finish this before the 40 minute mark. I will attempt to do so. As I have lots of other things to paint. Clip that. 
It's almost dry on that side. Mud. That's where I am at the moment. As you can see, this very bright green on the defense lines and lots of brown. Doesn't look particularly good at the moment. Them aside, there for finishing the rim and the outer part. Next color will be a sand color. And then we'll go for the full on desert color, which is there. Which is even brighter. As opposed to this one, which is more like white sand. It's very, very unsandy sand. Sort of like um, bleached sand, with nothing else in it, as opposed to the sand you see normally. So, just dry brush this all over again. Some of the black shows underneath don't matter too much. And this is also brown mixed in there, and we want depth, like I've said in other video videos. There will only be uh, another three of these tiles. Next I will do the interesting spaceport tile. Which should be interesting, since it's the main tile. Do intend on getting another pack of these, even though they are quite hard to get hold of. And expensive. But I want to paint a set in uh, another completely different theme. This is agricultural desert at the moment. Which is what the theme is. Which is exactly what it sounds like. A desert with lots of arboreal oasises scattered about. A little bit more sandy there, as you can see. Next side. These tiles are also designed so they can be linked together, obviously, with little corners, hexagons. And they can be wall mounted for a campaign like. So you were playing in multiple games of Warhammer with somebody, you could keep track on these tiles of what battles and stuff would be next. I suppose you can use it in an analogue to the games as well. There's lots of computer games, strategy ones, like um, Dawn of War. The, not Dawn of War, Dawn of War Dark Crusade. That's it. Which is a sort of map-based PC version of this. But it's much less satisfying than actually painting something, playing computer games. That day is probably past me. Well, I'm still good at games, I don't really play them anymore. Half an hour, it's not real gaming, it's more like passing time. <laughs> Whereas real gamers, they can go forever. I've known people to game for literally days without eating. How is that healthy? I have no idea. It's obviously not healthy. Gaming can be an, an addiction. Lots of sandy colour on that, give that a good wash. Get in there, bit at a time. So let's get some grey now on the gorges and the defence line itself. This is just your standard concrete grey, as opposed to stone grey. That horrible stony battleshipy grey. You know the one. We'll also put a little tiny lines of blue in these gorges. 
to make it look as if they're rivers or sunoti type things. Those underground rivers that you can sort of see from above only. And the holes full of water that they have in, I think it's Mexico. So, a bit of a natural sort of feel to it, as opposed to having just raw canyons. Although canyons are obviously a tactical position of worth in a sort of map game. So this is the defense line. I have to get a good mount around this. It's not enough on that brush. <coughs> Some in the area in the middle and around the outside. I think I'll do a little bit on the craters also, subtly. There's a number of craters around. Overall, there is a defense line. I suppose it would be considerably cratered. That's good. It's a bit of regular, more around the edge actually. Towards that foresty bit, a bit on there. After all, the defence line would uh, extend outwards. Been painting for about 20 minutes now, I guess. Uh, Yep, 17. So, that's that grey. See what I've done there? Canyons actually look better than the rest of it. So, let's get a, I think a dark blue. I'm going to need a finer brush for this. Fine brush. Look at the tip on that kind I'd be using. Be, be a bit careful here, clearly. It's a nice dark blue, sort of a deep ocean blue, I guess. All these colours have different daft names, as I mentioned before. Which I tend not to use. Besides, a lot of people tend to mix their own paints. So, it's best to see what you think it looks like. Perhaps a bit icy, this blue. Hair. In the way. Okay, that's nice. Still have to dry brush over that with a more stone colour as opposed to a concrete colour. Okay, that's the canyons done. Be a bit less blue after I hit that with some lighter greys. <coughs> <coughs> Also haven't got the main desert colour applied yet. Which I'm about to. Actually, you know, I need the grey first to do the 
the fence lines. Let's do it correctly. Put that brush away. My own. I've got many. It's the only fine detail brush I have. Got to take care of that for now until I get some more. Going over all the craters and the area around them, concrete it up. This is a dry paint, a dry brush. You can make it yourself, just simply dry up some paint. But leave enough moisture in it that it's gummy. Just want a gummy paint, really. So, other side, same for the canyons. This is a stone grey colour, as opposed to a concrete grey. I need to hit the edges of this and try not to get it in the river. Still a little bit wet. Okay, that's coming along nicely. Spaceport tile will be the next video. We also got a ultramarine space marine drop pod, a large vehicle that we'll be doing. And the Necron Ghost Arc, which I sprayed, um, needs to wait on a single colour before I paint that. Would mix my own, but the ones that they have now have things like fluorescence, um, UV reactivity, I say. So it look cool under a black light. And I think that would be cool, especially on the pyramidical Necron vehicle. Check that video out. Looks pretty cool. So as you can see, it's much less blue now. Just a hint of blue inside of the canyons. This is what I wanted. That's all it's supposed to be deeper in. So that's all the greys. I need the final grey here, which is a Look how white that grey is. Oof. I'm not sure what kind of clay. Clay, that's it. It's like white clay, like the cliffs of Dover, sort of white. Like that. Cliffs of, D cliffs of Dover white. That's the colour. Right. Deserty colour now. This is the main colour. So not, not to be stingy with. See, that's very, very sandy in appearance. Don't want too heavy a dry brush though. Do want some of the other colours from underneath to come through. As I said, want some depth to each tile. This is probably like what you would expect to see on terrain from really really high up. You wouldn't see much at all. Oh, that's that done. Still need to grey up the defence line and blasted areas. Do a little bit of sand in between them actually. Make it look like it's all mixed in. Yeah, that's nice. Other side. You can just wipe off a load if you want to make a nice dry brush. You can see there's some drying on the palette there. Ooh, I missed a gorge there. I'm going to have to redo that. Right on the corner. Didn't see that one. 
not a problem. We take a couple of coats to do that. And some tiny. Besides, the main colour is about to be finished. Gorgeous. Okay, that's it's lovely. A little bit more on that edge. It's a bit dark. There we go. Both desert colours done. I need to do that gorge. I need to fine brush again. Can't believe I missed that. Very small gorge by here. But to be fair, it is a very small gorge. Canyon, whatever. Yep. And grey over that. Where's the darker grey? Perfect. And the lighter grey. This is all drying as I'm painting. Using the fine detail brush to speed it up. This is a very small position. Done. Okay, lucky. Good man, it's cool for an explore. Oh, she's back. She's getting me. <laughs> oh, she doesn't want to miss anything. So this is where I am so far with the tile. Close up time, come on, zoom. Focus. So let's get the concrete colour on, the main whitish stuff. Detail brush away. Careful with that, as I mentioned. This brush is starting to splay from all the dry brushing. Incredibly white, this. White clips of Dover white. Most of that off the brush. Pick out all the concrete areas. And the defense lines. Be more subtle towards the craters, as you can see. Be careful to leave a little bit of desert showing. Some of the inside as well. Okay. Now to the gorges, canyons. Keeps falling. <laughs> Keep it over my shoulder. Damn it. Stick. Okay. It's the canyons. Water filled canyons done. There's a little tiny hair there. 
eyelash. Get that off. Might have been a bright bristle. It's gone. Good. Losing bristles from this brush, from all the dry brushings. So there's the canyons done, and the desert. I need to do the rims on this now. And then I can join the other two that I've made previously, painted previously. So the finishing colours. suppose this is a masonry sort of colour. Lots of this I need actually. It's quite thin. watery sort of paint all along all the edges and I also need to do the top part but I did the inside border black there's a nice contrast like that as it better shows the details inside Go over this again once it starts drying. Okay, sort of messy at the moment. Will look like that until it has enough layers upon it to make it built up. And once it'll be done, it'll be lovely like the other tiles. These are out of production, as I've said. Why I don't know, they're actually pretty cool. Although the company that makes them is far, far richer and moved on to bigger things. So. And they're still around and much more stock and stuff. These used to be quite cheap back in the day. Whereas now they're expensive. Back. Gorgeous side. Canyons. Gorgeous. Wherever. I'll put canyons in the title anyway. That's what they look like. Painting this tile for a fair while now. It does take a little while to paint these. Should show some stages of other stuff in the future. One end of there, it's gone. That side is alright. Starting to dry on the edges. Got another layer on there. It's quite thin, as I mentioned. But it is painting over black with a very, very bright colour. An almost white sand or masonry stone colour. Sandstone, that's it, it looks like sandstone. So, solidified, compacted, sandy colour. Oh, it's hurting my back this. Painting for a while. Always hurt your back. In a comfortable chair. Painting. 
Okay, the rims are okay, but they could be a bit better. Do this. Hopefully there'll be enough time before the video stops. It's drying quite quickly though. It's a warm night for October, considering. Okay, that's looking much neater. Still need to do black on the border in the inside. Flip that, get this edge done. Painting is a laborious activity. Especially models, and miniatures. There's lots of fine details and you can go easy or really difficult. This is somewhere in between, since there's three different types of layers and dry brushes on the foresty parts and the desert parts and the concrete also Yeah, that side satisfactory, as is that. Tile is still drying around the edges, however. Fence line looks pretty cool. We'll go with the town tile quite nicely. Lots of regular blasting and stuff on that. Look a bit better when I do the black borders. There's another defense tile that goes with this somewhere. Ooh, there is another one very similar with more town bits. And there's the long one that connects from by there. You can see into a, like a long defense line. Pretty cool. Guess that would go around the spaceport tile. That tile. Which is obviously huge by the scale of the terrain tile. That's airport uh, strip sized thing. Let's finish this up. Taking bristles off this. Brush it's starting to disintegrate with use. However, it is like a cheaper sort of brush. Even the expensive brushes won't last you long. Coarse hair brushes. You just use what works for you, I guess. Check the thumbnail image for the finished tile. As there's only black border left, may or may not have time for that. Doubt it. My video usually cuts out in about 40 minutes. It was 30, but now it's 40. I guess my camera's changed its settings or some crap. Anyway, there's the tile thus far, just minus the black border. You can see it's very nice, there's a defence line, and lots of craters. As well as bits of forest around. And then you've got the canyons and gorges, a bit of water inside of them. Should go nice with the other tiles. Let's have a look. Oop. 
And there's the canyons and gorges along with the mineral deposits tile, that one I done in the last video. And the town ruins which is also on the other side of that tile. So it's very nice that, hope you agree. We'll do the black border at a later time, post it in the thumbnail images and on my Daka Daka. Which you will find a link to in the description.